believe the IEMBS does now. Oh, that's the Medical and Biology Electrical Engineers. See, the Journal of American Medical Association back in the 90s, they had a nine-year-old girl have her hand stuck through a box, and she brought in 20 nurses or so, and said, stick your hand in the box and tell me if my hand is there. And she, because she got just over a 50-50 response, even though her experiment was garbage, they said, oh, yeah, see, they're all lying. Healing touch is bullshit. Therapeutic touch is bullshit. So the next big push we got was Reiki because there was a Japanese man who'd done a bunch of research up on a mountain in Hawaii and in other places in Japan. And he comes down, he's like, here's a bunch of healing frequencies. Yeah, ions and electrons again. And now they use it with quasi-static communication and human body communication on the radio frequency bands, the same radio frequency bands that they use to lie about all of this in the first place. The medical implant communication system. They're using an RFID chip secretly in your body. That's why some people found implants. Well, that's if you found someone honest. Otherwise, they kept their mouths shut. Yeah, see, isn't that something? In 1995, here's what the wide body area network was capable of. Everything you see in those boxes, the FCC mandated the medical body area network in 2014. Then more people lied and said it's only in the hospital. No, the global information grid architecture from 2007 at international standards designate, we are not allowed to only have sensors in you in your home or only in the hospital. Then we cannot defend against you when you leave your zone. So if we're going to be a man and we're going to stay as adults and not give in, feed in to the way that men have been able to lie all these years, then you got to hold the line right there. These biosensors are industrial. Yeah. Okay. So now we go over here to where we don't pay 30 grand for a toilet seat, and that's the National Institute of Science and Technology. And we get into photonic tools and cells and tissues for diagnostics. And then, old man, we have your family read this with you so that you understand that we can wirelessly adjust your cells and tissue. And the reason for that would be Social Security's artificial intelligence precision health care that's going out right now. Okay? And then we let you know that the reason all this is still going on is because men, like Mikey Adams, lie to you and scam you every day that they're not talking about human body communication because we've now upgraded our very illegal medical implant communication system to human body communication. No sixth sense anymore. It's all AI, ubiquitous and pervasive computing. Everything you thought was sci-fi right in your face in less than 24 hours. Your DigiID has been installed since 2009. Those biosensors have been commercially available to anybody who could install a light switch for Zigbee and Bluetooth since 2005 and nobody had the balls or the decency to tell you bullshit i haven't met an old man all my life i grew up with my dad he sold stereo and car stereo so i know that you all fucking lie you just lie and women don't they're not interested in physics and circuit boards so to get into the conversation takes too long i understand that i really do so please the biofield is a body part. The aura is a body part. Nobody ever needed a remote to your central nervous system for national security. So what are they doing? And don't think you're going to vote your way out of it. They already have it. And they've been playing with people. Straight up playing with people. It's not a rabbit hole. It's a body part. If you haven't figured out yet that the human aura is not foo-foo and woo-woo, it's the electrical body part. That's every cell in your body, every single one. And if your cells in your body cannot hold an electrical charge for all the ions and electrons and neutrinos, <laughs> neutrinos and protons and all these things to pass through your cell structure, because you're a bag of water, okay? If your body cannot electrically hold your cells together, well, you get sick. You might have a stroke. You might fall apart. So to ignore the human body part that is being targeted with a new kind of warfare, then you find out that for 150 years, cymatics, plasmonics, how do we build the pyramids of Giza? Oh, we don't know. What's a UFO? Oh, we just don't know. Well, is telepathy real? No, but synthetic telepathy is real. But you have to get a brain chip or you got to inject graphene. That's since 2014. No, I don't. I can just buy a cool little headset. Oh, well, then you're already connecting with DARPA anyways. But we all are. Okay, and everybody's brains explode and they all freak out and then they drop down rabbit holes. Well, I'll tell you what. 
I am not taking responsibility for rabbit holes. And any of you fucking people out there, you're a rabbit holer. Go to the Blue Water channel if you want to go down rabbit holes. What do I mean by that, Linda? Well, see, if Linda and her dog Truman, and then people get mad at me, don't call people out my name, then stop lying to people. They're not going to do that because they don't make as much money collecting coffee and podcasting. Now, on the political side, they do the same stupid shit. And I don't know why. I really don't. But that's not my business. My business is to draw attention to the lack of a rabbit hole when it comes to you're using an electrical human body part that is the natural, wireless, invisible human body part for all of your Internet of Behaviors, Internet of Bodies, Internet of Things, Industrial Internet, Medical Body Area Network. And who are you? Doctors, nurses, police, medical of all kinds. That includes EMS transferring you back and forth. And Stingray and Dirtbox, parole officers logging in to your veins and arteries and everyone keeps screaming, how? Oh, it's so impossible. They would tell us. And they said, nope. They didn't tell you shit because you think looking glass is something other than radio frequency through the human body, radio modulation for neural modulation. The body itself is the IEEE 802.15.6. The biosensors are 802.15.4 and the wireless sensor networks for individual organs or nano peer-to-peer, brain-to-brain, etc. is 802.15.5. You didn't tell people that. I did. Linda and her dog Truman busy telling you about werewolves and then poor Christian 21. He tries real hard, but he doesn't tell you about the biosensors on the inside of you. The refractive indice math with more circle math that we're using to route computer data and electrical signal, advanced signal technology through your body. No, they ain't telling you that. <clears throat> so tell me then, Linda, and the rest of you, how are you going to explain to people that we do have actual human teleportation with specialized concrete using not only the biosensors, but the integrated photonic circuits? Yeah? You going to talk to them about that? Probably not. How about them DNA biofrequency weapons that we've had on the books and around and projecting out a Spartan satellite, the Corona satellite? No, it's Echelon. Oh, it's Keyhole. That's just ways to computer network through satellites and keep it organized. Kind of like your wireless sensor networks keep your internal organs organized. Okay? So when we do computer networking through human bodies, the body itself becomes a node, N-O-D-E, on a computer network now. Most people, normal people, when you look at them and say, hey, your ass is attached to the cloud. No, it's not. You're lying. Somebody would have told us. And that's what I've been up against the entire time. So you call me a rabbit holer. A lot of people do. And then it becomes all this other crazy. And I'm sitting over here going, no, I'm going to the same textbooks, college textbooks, uh, Cisco security books, and I'm looking at this, and you're fucking lying, and you won't stop. Then you deployed a cyber-physical backbone for all the synthetic telepathy, nano peer-to-peer, brain-to-brain, tensor sequences, grabbing up artificial neural networks, and everybody's sitting here going, hey, put your mask on. We're all dying again from the Spanish flu. I mean, um, typhoid so i don't know but i mean clearly it's virology and bacteria and oh we're all dead there's nothing we can do yeah just sit there in your kill box i mean your house and uh yeah no we don't read your mind no we we don't have an electrical body part i have no idea what's a ufo what i don't know what's biomedical engineering watch this this is the power of writing things down and spending your time actually figuring things out and reverse engineering it, okay? There's no way that you don't fucking know what the UAPs are. So you radiate people by dropping an electromagnetic field on them. Sensors open systems architecture, modular open system approach. Whether it's a drone or a baseline frequency at your cable company, it's got to match to perturbate your electrical field. Or those biofrequency weapons would not work as easily. So once we radiate you, your psionic abilities turn on in your neurons because neurons are body-wide. And telepathy, empathy, precognition, telekinetics, and the rest of it, well, that's natural to your body. But you don't know that. Then you got no one to talk to. 
If you try to tell your therapist, they'll give you drugs, and SSRIs make radio frequency run through the body better. You have two radio frequency sinks, one over the heart and one over the bladder, multiple nodes of routing, relays, and other things for the 802.15.5 wireless sensor networks. Holy shit, dude, and we're not even all the way around the circle of lying to you. Oh, what's a UFO? I don't know. What are psionic abilities? Used to call them psychic. Oh, I don't know. They're busy radiating you. They're extracting your neurons for neuron peer-to-peer. -peer. That's since 1995, by the way. Then, if you're augmented too much, you turn into something like a big foot, maybe you sprout some extra cells, you disappear. You go into the national parks underground or into somebody's closed-off area in a city. There's the liminal spaces and the wormholes. Plasmonics, cymatics, more architecture we lie about with the IAS and high energy physics so the flux density planes can disappear in the atmosphere. So again, these are jobs, and the whole goal was wireless tissue engineering. Got a remote, I can change your physical cell structure. Now I got your digital optic twin, and everybody's still fucking lost because nobody admitted to what? You have an electrical wireless body part. That's how they're logging into you and making all these changes. Changes. Physical cellular changes. And this is the other part of the problem. When you scare people away from learning about basic material physics, and you scare people away from learning about human anatomy, anatomy, human physiology, then you have gatekeepers like psychologists and psychiatrists, and they leave out the electrical body part. They don't tell you anything about your body being electrical, they don't tell you that the aura is real. They don't tell you about neural modulation. They tell you nothing except pay me money, and I'll report to the state on whether or not you can have a job, have your children, keep your bank account. <clears throat> now, that's been going on since I was young, so 80s, 90s, zeros, 10s, and you wonder why? When they interview people that are under the age of 20, they're like, yeah, surveillance, give it to us. Look at the shit-tastic mess we're all in. This sucks. Nobody can control themselves. Oh, how convenient. What do I mean? Did you tell anybody that you were fucking with their heads and electrocuting them and inserting a new EEG overlay on their neocortex? You called it disassociative identity disorder? We had a 1,000% increase in MPD in the 90s and in the, the 80s, and you said nothing happened, but you were testing brain to brain, and you did it, with the open brains of two-year-olds when I was tested on, and you won't tell anybody what you're actually doing with synthetic biology, transhumanism, with the electrical signals inside their body. Then you don't tell them the slaughterbots are real, that our Marine Corps has Osiris for years now, that they can do the same thing driving little nano-sized drones through your body with their mind. Fort Benning, 2022. March 2022. Oh, yeah, Slaughterbots is just something on the YouTube. Until it's not, welcome to your advanced signal technology. So all of you out there that are continuing to ask for coffee and you're very, very interested in, oh, what's a UFO? Why don't you start talking about looking glass for what it actually is? Why? Now we have metamaterials in the 6G low pan with the terahertz. That means that if you don't know that this is a body part, you will definitely be electrocuted into submission by soft kill weaponry because the smart grid is weaponry. Now, again, there's a body part involved. There is another element of self-defense than just, I'm going to get some shielding. I'm going to take a meter and take measurements. No, no, you can do all that. But now when you're done with all that, you, they're still going to find ways to get through. And do you feel your own skin? This is why my channel has no rabbit holes. And the people that attempted to call me a nutbag got run off by good people who are either in medical fields or otherwise going, she's holding up the same signs, she's using the same materials, and she's saying the same fucking thing. It's a body part. If you don't tell people it's a fucking body part, they can't do triage, they can't figure out what's going on, because we lied about this body part for 150 years. No layman's vernacular of people having conversations at home, at dinner, at the water cooler, at work. Zero. 
And then in the last 20 years, or well, technically 40, if you open your mouth about the Rife machine, the biofield, healing touch, we just kill you. We being the fucking government, black projects, all these corporations, and everybody knows that. Then you look at me and go, oh, you couldn't have survived. You must be being remoted. The reason I'm still here is God, not the government. They wanted me dead really bad. Why? I don't know. I didn't even know that my family was wrapped up in all this fucking insanity until the very last minute. And believe me, I'm not proud of it. That's why I'm out here every day trying to do what I can to bring honor back to my family. Fucking duh. Disabled. Have better things to do. Going through the day can sometimes be a struggle. But none of you out there will go, hey, hey, it's a wide body area network. Yeah. Um, what are we going to do about it now? Oh, wouldn't that be nice if we could get to the next step? Yeah. Instead of looking at me and going, ah! you're all wasting time. And I don't know why. And unfortunately for you, I just don't give a shit. Beyond the basics, anyways. Great. Now my main sign is MIA. Where'd you go? So anyways, the main sign that I'm looking for right now is my radio frequency sync sign, so I have a different one. Anyways, so the reason that this is important is because you cute-tarded folks out there that are like, hey, we're all getting together to try to do something. Yeah, but the problem is, is that we've got a controlled downturn being rolled out, deployed perfectly by the same Q economic clearance level, which is more than economic because if you're going to control the banking, you've got to control the food, you've got to control the power, etc. Oh, Okay, what are they doing? Weather warfare. This is from March 12th of 2023. I don't know. I delete my videos, so you'll have to get a hold of people that know where they are, or maybe, maybe not. The reason that we're doing that weather warfare has to do with changing out the atmosphere plasmonically, shaking things under your feet, and making sure we perturbate your cells apart. We're going to disassociate your electrical field. We're going to uncouple your cellular states, and we're going to insert the changes that we want. So... How did I figure all this out? I was so mentally looking to figure out how in the fuck were they doing this through the body? Well, I had a job. A long time ago, far, far away, I worked for an internet service provider, and I also worked as a professional at the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater. So imagine my lack of surprise when I went in for 2022 cybersecurity. Oh, there's the body, the two radio frequency sinks, the near neighbor K-hop routing mitig mitigation and interference relays, and I'm like, holy shit. And then it said, there's your striker, autonomous. There's the drone, autonomous, in a vehicular ad network with only machine to machine. In other words, humans can't even decode what it's saying. And I'm like, no fucking way. So as I'm continuing to try to prove myself wrong, which the synergist knows what I'm always up to because I would much rather be able to tell people something halfway decent and hopeful. But if I can't, I'm not going to lie to people. Ha, huh, here it is. So, as I continue to research for cybersecurity, I'm like, holy shit, 802.15.4 biosensors in 2005? Commercially available to anybody who could install a light switch? Yeah. Open shortest path first through the human body? Yep. To the heart tissue? Yep. Where the fuck is everybody? Shut up, Sabrina. You can't even say biofield in the machine writing. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah. So that's why I started to say it's the aura, stupid. Because if you knew that people were electrocuting you into submission. Here, let me give you an example of what it looked like in past history. In the 90s, there were a bunch of people who said, oh, you got fibromyalgia. That's your fault. You just can't handle pain anymore. I had pseudotumor cerebri. In other words, fake brain tumor. Your body is acting as if it's got a tumor, but it doesn't. And when I tried to figure that out, excuse me a second, transcranial magnetic stimulation for testing. Oh, you got a pseudo brain tumor. Your body is acting like it has a tumor, but it doesn't. Pseudo seizures. You're having seizures, but there's no cause inside of you as to why. That wasn't my story. That was a different person. 
All the autoimmune disorders. Well, yeah, your immune system is trying to do what it's supposed to do, but you are electrically charging it and changing it to do something different. Once the signal goes off of you, your body goes back to trying to heal itself. If you're not integrating earthing and all the other shielding in your biofield practice, you're sick as a fucking dog, walking right along to what they want to do because they are electrocuting the circuitry of your literal cell structure, and you're still sitting there going, oh, I'm not attached to the cloud. No, my thoughts are private. No one can access me with an electrical signal. The DOD leaves me out. That's insane. Then I continued to find people going, I'm a targeted individual, and I'm going, holy shit, how do you not know about the gig architecture? That's so unfair. So then, cancer, give it to you, take it away in 15 minutes. Nano diseases go back to the 1600s. This is the 90s. Zip. Where are we today? Sudden adult death syndrome, it's all your fault. Fibromyalgia, all your fault. Pseudotumor, it's all your fault. <laughs> oh, but we're going to make it better. What'd you do with the people who handed out all the opiates to make this shit go through the body easier? What shit? Radio frequency, nothing. What do you do with all those SSRIs that nobody really needed, but you needed them for brain to brain? Nothing. What did what happened to satanic ritual abuse? Oh, we have no idea what you're talking about. It didn't happen. Well, then why did MPD increase at a thousand percent between the 80s and the 90s? Oh, we don't know. It's all your fault. And now our children believe it's all our fault, as well as we've let the climate go to shit and they're going to hump up immediately to get injected and be in their smart coffin apartment. Why? Parents just lie. They go to work and they lie. They don't give a fuck about what's going on to their kids. That's not their job. That's the school's job. Everything is inverted, flipped on its head. So if I'm a parent and I give a shit, like I'm not like these other people, I care. The number one thing I'm wanting to learn about right now is electronic warfare. Why? Because that is what the smart grid agenda 2030, the smart city initiative, the 6G low personal area network, all of it is on these biosensors and the body area network. Because the body is the network. The body is the node. The body is what they're using. And so then I got accused of, you know, I'm not doing enough. I'm not offering solutions. I'm the one out here making my hair stand on it and encouraging people to get out there and start feeling their body part again. Because I don't give a fuck if you're the government. You have no right to go and tell people they're crazy while you're fucking electrocuting them. Hello? It's been you the entire time. Making sure nobody can use their natural telepathy, empathy, precognition, telling everyone they're fucking nuts, get on drugs, and then playing Sims with human bodies in fucking libraries and databases. Bill, the brain and imaging library. Well, they can't read our thoughts. They've been reading your thoughts with cognitive warfare technology at Georgetown 2007. So, for all of you out there that are continuing to fuck around with me, my channel, the people on my channel, could you stop and 